Welcome back to the channel. A lot of the TD5 owners seem to be having trouble with crank sensor issues. So they're driving down the road uh, and the, the, the thing cuts out. It just literally stops. Looking on the, the Nanocom, you can see that it's logged to noisy crank signals. Hopefully you see it just here, it, it, the little picture that we've added in, hopefully. Um, <laughs> so we, we've made a kit. This is a replacement TD5 harness. So it's just an overlay harness, literally um, the actual proper harness um, plugs into the to the standard location and then, then you just literally go back to the ECU. It's made out of special, well, look on the website, you can see literally what it's made out of. It's very, very complex piece of wire. But yeah, so have a look. It's, it's a proper engineered piece of equipment. Um, yeah, we're going to show you how to install it. It's, I mean, it's, it's relatively straightforward, so uh, stay tuned. Obviously, the first step is to, to find where the crank sensor is. Most of you probably know, because most of you have probably replaced it at some point. Um, so on the defenders, we have to get access to it, get around the back here. All right, let's get this off. There we go. Ah, wow. Yeah, so um, that's no good, is it? Right, so now we have to install this wiring into this. So you need a little tool like this just to deep in the old ones. So you can get it on the camera. If you zoom right in the top, you can just see a little clip. So what we do is I put a little bit of tension on the back. Not too much. Get a tool. Like so. Out in the blue. Ooh. So now we just need to check, make sure there's no faults. There'll probably still be a fault in from the old one. High-speed crank, noisy crank signal. Right, then we just clear on by clicking clear, and we'll go through the process, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that's helpful uh, when you buy our kits. Obviously, when you fit this stuff yourself, if you come across things like this, this is quite bad. You should fix it or buy a piece of pipe that will, you know, rectify it. This customer will be getting a new one of these before he leaves, so don't worry about that.